I, I, I've tried making this video like six times and it's just so hard for me not to get bummed out and then start getting negative and just go on about all the bad stuff. So I need to preface this by saying it was a very boring direct and I didn't like it. So if you don't want to hear it, you may as well leave. But I will say that uh, it definitely catered to a certain kind of person. And there's going to be a certain kind of person that loved this direct. But I keep going back through it. I keep looking over it. I keep tallying up things about it. And it just, it's so clear to me that it's just not, it was, wasn't good. I mean, there was like, it was all RPGs, which is fine if you love RPGs, but it was like Square Enix just going absolutely ham with the quarterly budget here on the Nintendo Switch. There were like several different farming sim games. Yeah. Oh, is this gonna be a farming RPG? Oh my God. Yes, you cultivate a peaceful farm life in the village <laughs> of Leafy. Which again, I like sim games, but at some point it felt like I was losing my mind. Two of the trailers for these farming sim games were essentially the same. You might even meet your future partner and start a family to help you enjoy more quality time with your in-game spouse. And then most of what Nintendo brought to the party was DLC free updates and paid updates for their games that they've already released. and. A couple of them, fine. You know, like Mario Kart, that's really, I love that game and playing the DLC when it comes out is fun for the day and then you just never play it again. And then uh, Xenoblade 3, which I don't want to get into that too much because I'm still working on my review, but that's got good DLC, so I'm fine. It's whatever. But games like Mario Strikers getting DLC, that game is gone. Just give it up. It wasn't good. You half baked it from the start. You're releasing this free DLC now like it's supposed to be exciting. It's a couple of characters. It doesn't change anything. No one cares. Release stuff that makes the game better. Release a single player. Release something fun. Add something to the game. And then you have like Switch Sports, which that game released full price, classic Nintendo with a bunch of empty promises of all these things coming later. And here we are months later, and we're only now finding out about golf. Golf, yay, and it's also been delayed. They delayed golf. They need more time to work on golf. It's releasing in the holiday because nothing says Christmas like playing a few rounds of golf with the boys. <sighs> There was some really cool things in here. Obviously, I'm a big Zelda fan, so that was really exciting to a point, and we'll get there. But a couple of really cool announcements in a 40 minute long dragged out direct filled with Square Enix farming and RPGs does not make a good direct. It would if all of those games were sick, by the way, but a lot of them just look like this. What is this? The worst art style I have ever seen. Also just a very boring looking game, but all right, okay. Let's take a step back and look at the things that were actually good. I want to clarify, I'm just I'm just a little burned out and frustrated and tired and it's not just Nintendo, it's the state of the world. I mean, Xbox has been nothing this year as well. PlayStation has been struggling to stay afloat and to be honest, Nintendo is really doing the best job out of everyone at getting releases out constantly, uh, albeit some of them being very lackluster, but at least things are happening. God, I went a little hard there. Sorry. Let me reel it back in. All right, now I got all that out my system. We can take a look at the stuff I really liked. There's a new Fire Emblem. The warriors of our is it actually Fire Emblem? Is one. It is more Fire Emblem? I made a tweet yesterday, by the way. I was like, uh... All we want from this Direct is new Fire Emblem, Xenoblade, and new Kirby. I had no idea Nintendo was going to take that seriously. That was a joke because people are so burned out on all of these things. But regardless, this is a brand new full Fire Emblem game. I loved Three Hopes, and I'm really excited for this. It is a tough sell for me right now because I'm so burned out on RPGs. You know, I'm still trying to play through Xenoblade 3. I'm hours into that. Live Alive got put on the back burner because of that game. And I tried playing Triangle Strategy and I just didn't have the time and fell out of it. I need to get back to it. I have to get back to it quick because Octopath 2 is on the way. And it's like, yeah, I'm really excited for that because it's Octopath. And I thought they were done with Octopath. I thought Triangle Strategy was them moving on from Octopath. So to find out I'm getting a new Octopath, 
Octopath, let's say it another time, is so exciting. But at the same time, it's a big chore and an undertaking, and I'm just not ready for it. I need something else. I need a fun, like, action game or something short. Give me something short. God, I never thought I would ask for a game that was only eight hours, but I would die for that right now, Nintendo. Those two, by the way, easily the biggest and most hyped reveals of this entire thing in my opinion because these are games getting revealed for the first time with story and cinematics and gameplay that is what i love in these directs and those were the two that did that we had pikmin 4 title screen it's kind of hard to get excited for a title so there's really not much i can say about that uh, i do love pikmin though but again i'm just I'm not a guy that can get excited for a title, which is also why... Oh, more gameplay. Oh my god, look at his hair. Oh my god, look at him fall. If that's all we get, I'm gonna vomit. The Legend of Zelda, give me a title! <gasps> Tears of the Kingdom, I have chills! Tears of the Kingdom? Oh my god, we got a title, baby! That's kind of all this direct was for, a title. And a release date! Ah! May! 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 In the moment, I love it. Finding out it's in May is great because it, that's a hard date. It's a little further away than I would like, but it's a hard date. Hopefully, no more delays. Um... But, you know, that's that's what that is. And it's that was the end of the direct. Really, what I got most excited for personally in this whole thing was 007 Goldeneye coming to the Switch. Ah! Yo! Goldeneye! No way! Ah, oh, that gave me chills. That gave me chills. That's the most hype thing so far, and it's just Goldeneye coming back. With the four-player online multiplayer, that is insane. I can't wait to play that. So I'm really at the point where my most excited thing from the entire event was a 64 game. And sure, if we skimmed through, there are some other things I could pick apart, you know. But for the most part, it's things that we already knew about. I'm very excited for Bayonetta. We already had a release date. I'm very excited for Mario and Rabbids. We already had a release date. There was a couple of cute indies. Tunic has been out for a while, but I've been waiting to play it for when it comes to Switch. So I am excited for that. But just being this far into the year. So here's, here's where I'm at. You know, I keep struggling because in, in on one side... I want to react to the direct. You know, I want to review the direct, and the direct was boring. On the other side, there is a couple of really cool announcements that we can get excited about. You know, Fire Emblem, Octopath, a title reveal for Pikmin 4, and Zelda. I, I guess that's kind of just the video. And it feels weird me not making a video about a direct. I always make a video about a direct, but... um. I think, I think that really is all I've got here. And also I want to add, most of the cool stuff isn't coming until next year either. So, so much for focusing on winter. Whenever I do a reaction, I need you guys to do a poll with me right now. How was this direct, okay? YouTube chat likes to gaslight me and make me feel like I'm insane and that I'm trying to just get clicks on something. No, I was here with my chat and we watched it live. So we got 11% currently in great. We've got 30% in mid, 30% in terrible, and 30% in I liked it, but only because Zelda. To those that say great, you're wild. To those that say great, I mean, everyone can like what they like and I love you, but clearly you really like RPGs and farming games. <laughs> I liked Fire Emblem 2. I liked Fire Emblem 2. There was only so many spots on the list, though. It was a very mid-direct. I don't have much to say about it. I still wanted to try and make a video. I'm going to try and edit this right now, and if I don't like the way it sounds, I might not even upload this. But I will be live on Twitch tonight with some uh, with some Temtem, and I want to watch State of Play, so it's going to be a really fun stream on Twitch tonight. I, I lose my mind making these direct videos. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you tonight on Twitch. I am sorry.